I remember when I was in Dundee in my second year, I went over to Amsterdam with my teammate, uh, Hernandez. Um, and then my, my mother called me. Um, she was in hospital, you know. Um, so I said, well, you sure you will be okay and things like that. It's have these pains in the stomach, it's, it's kind of straight, kind of sleep, and things like that. So my sister called me after, and uh, they, they went for a check. They say, it's a cold, so take a bag, take a bag to to the house, and still so much in pain. Um, eventually, my uncle came on, and I went over to... She went over to um, um, to La Coruña, uh, to the main hospital, and they say they had uh, aneurysm in her heart. You know, so so yeah. So as soon as they they told me that they're gonna need to go for operation, so I went with uh, uh, Jean Duffy, it used to be my my head coach in Andy. And to be fair to him, like, it, it was absolutely great. You know, he told me just to to go. He stayed me over, drive me over to Edinburgh to get the, the, the plane. Um, so, yeah, so I went over and <coughs> round when I stopped, uh, before I, I get the plane, they ha she had the first operation, and this went well. Uh, so I was in the plane, kind of like just crying, you know, like because um, my mother is is the best ever happened to me. Um, it was it was very very tough, you know. Um, but then I landed in Madrid, and I uh, called my uncle, see how she is, and everything. Oh, she's okay, she's okay, but it's not. She passed away in the second operation, never make it. So, yeah, so I, I, I arrived in La Coruña. From La Coruña, I went to Ferrol, and, you know, tried to organized the, the funeral and everything, which is was very tough. Um, yeah, all the police being escorting people and, you know, lost. I never saw so, so many cars, you know, on a funeral. And, you know, just follow to the cemetery. And, um, yeah, on, on that time, I was very strong. Um, so I don't like people to see me crying, really. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that's what happened. And, you know, I need to look after my sister. My mother and my father have been separated before. You know, that happened. Um, when I left to Huesca, my mother and my father separated as well. So in my brain, it was like... Loss, loss of, you know, things that is is put you down a lot. So I went over. I I found my 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 coach Jim Duffy, and I told him like Jim is like I just yeah that's what happened, and he said to me just stay as long as you can, as long as you want you stay. I understand that, you know, which is much appreciate for him. But then just being in my house where my mother lives and, and everything, it's just my brain just going all over. So after three days, four days, uh, being there, I just decided, like, I need to go. So I booked the first flight to, to Edinburgh. And from there I went over. Um, Jim Duffy told me like not to do nothing. Say I need to play, I need to train, I need to, 
you know, because that was my escape, you know, mm-hmm. and being with the, the, the boys and everything. Uh, is that's that's one of the parts I I I miss the most, you know, being with my teammates. Um, and they they've been great with me also, you know. And so I feel the love from them. Um, and then I think we play against Kilmarnock after being three days training. We went to Kilmarnock and started calling again. And, you know, um, that year I scored 25 goals again, you know, and it's just, you know, it's, you know, it, it's very difficult what happened, especially, especially mentally, you know, but the football is my, my escape. You know, so this is why when I just feel free, mm-hmm. you know. Sorry if you're lost, but yeah. see, it's not spoke about enough in footballers, I think, because a lot of footballers lose loved ones. Some miss funerals, some miss birth for their kids. Like, how hard is it for a footballer when they lose someone? Because fans think footballers are superhuman. They don't feel as if they, they have feelings and emotions. Like, how hard is it when you lose loved ones and you have to get straight back to business with all that pressure of trying to succeed? Is that's that's the life we we have, but on the same time, you know, um, people no no thinking. We, we are person. We are not footballers. We are we are footballers, but on the end of the day, we are still person, you know. Mm. And and we had so many things going on and so many players stuff is going on as well on the life you know so but i think that's that's it's life and you need to use to that you know so for me for me like it just whatever people criticize me for something or whatever i just i just don't care what they say um, on that, I'm very strong, you know, so they can say whatever they want to say. But for me, is my mind is just going back training and from training go to my family. And and, that, and that's why I done, really. I really not used to go out at all, 